Hey guys, Rush G, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. This video today, I'm going to quickly go over some sort of new sequences you can get after particularly the Laikik Tatsu buff that Ken received in the latest updates. Now, if I'm honest, there's not really that many places where this Laikik Tatsu buff is good uh, outside of the combos I showed in the previous video, the main sort of overview of the updates for Ken. But I have found some sequences that you couldn't do before. So I'll show you them now. Um, see what you think. You know, just some are pretty cool. Some are just interesting. And there are a few more optimal situations. First one today, I'm going to look at Crush Counter, Crouch and Heavy Punch with V Skill 2, Mid Screen, No Bar. So I think generally uh, when you use V Skill 2, this is what people would do mid screen to punish a blocked EXDP. that there is a crouching heavy punch into charge v skill 2 heavy kick tatsu it's actually a more optimal route now uh i'm not sure if it's consistent i've seen it not work every time basically what happens is the heavy punch dp sometimes hits twice rather than three times if it hits twice it's actually sub optimal compared to the previous combo i just showed you but basically after the charge v skill 2 you do like it tatsu heavy punch dp and that's it I think the trick to that is, is you go do the Laikid Tatsu very quickly. You can convert that into a one bar spin, but really you want to do medium kick Tatsu EXDP. But you can do, say if you build the meter along the way, you can do an EXDP there. But yeah, it's medium kick Tatsu EXDP if you want to go for optimal one bar. This is mid screen as well, particularly, so that's an interesting one. Uh, I feel like there was another one and I've already forgotten what it was with V-Skill 2. Was there another one with V-Skill 2? Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, there was. I remember the other one. So, if you get a V-Skill 2 against a neutral jump now, uh, you can do a Likey Tattoo follow-up after it and you can get a Heavy Punch DP juggle after that. So, it's a little janky again. The thing with air-to-airs is the height can really affect things, so it depends on where the V skill 2 hits against the airborne opponent. So I think with practice you can get that down, but that's a nice bit of damage or no bar spend. And you can of course do the EX. But you see there, you could you could you could see that the like attacks are connected and Kami was quite low to the ground. Yeah, same again. So it's I'm not entirely sure. It's a good thing. There you go. So the V skill 2 has to hit while they're quite high in the air. And then you've got to manually time that like keep tatsu to prop them up high enough. And you can tell if they're too low or too high. So an interesting one I found anyway. Something else I found. Um, a one bar combo. I think it's a crush counter as well. Let's have a quick look. So crush counter. V skill 1 now. You get a crush counter sign heavy punch. This actually seems optimal and the corner carry is pretty mad on it as well. So if I do I'll show the sequence first. That's actually a new optimal combo. So that's a no bar spend but with V trigger. What you do is after the crush counter stand heavy punch, you do run into back medium punch like a tatsu, heavy punch DP2 hits, and then VTC that. And you can also use those frame kills that I showed you in the last video for this sequence. with the light punch and you can spend one bar as well so that's optimal as well this it's this is not really useful but it's just good to know this actually no let's, let's we'll go we'll go to the less useful ones at the end this one's pretty cool um you can get heavy punch dp and exdp as the combo ender but it's very tricky to, to get the spacing right but um you can do lion breaker like itatsu into CA now. That's consistent. Um, the only thing with that is it's actually more optimal to go Lion Breaker, CA, no like it tatsu, but it's there, it works. Um, you, like I said, you can do Heavy Punch DP and EX DP after that, but it's very spacing um, specific. So at the max range, the um, DP won't reach, whereas a bit closer. 
to see the Heavy Punch DP and Heavy and EX DP connects. I probably won't use that if I'm completely honest because it's way too specific. But where this is good, even at max range, is where the opponent's near the corner. So that was mid screen. And near the corner, that's guaranteed, and you get three hits. That's really good damage. Um, I'm trying to think, that's 227. Ah, okay. So you know what? Just do step kick. It's not even worth it. Not even worth it. So completely ignore that one. It's good to know it exists. It's good to know it's better. But yeah, step kick's the way forward, actually, in that situation. And obviously, if you're using V-Skill 2, that's the better option as well. So yeah, scratch that one. Uh, right, so this is where we get to the mad stuff now, yeah? Now, you can do dive kick into Like It Tatsu. And the Like It Tatsu, as long as it hits on the second hit and they're proper up high enough. You can get some pretty funky things after it. Let me show you this now. Yeah, so you can do like a Tatsu and Heavy Punch DP, and you can even do EX Tatsu. <laughs> now, again, the reason why I say not to go for that is because that exists, and that's actually better. Better, and if you spend the meter as well, more damage. So um, the only thing I will say is, is that that combo I just showed you won't work like at, at long range. That doesn't work. But then the like Tatsu also doesn't reach as well. So I'm just showing you because it exists, not so much to use. Which is interesting again that you get those juggles. The like Tatsu change has really like created so many new opportunities. It's just interesting to know what the options are. The other one, now this is, again, it's even more ridiculous. This will never happen in a real match, but you can even do this. You ready, guys? Yeah, so that's a manly time now. Are you going to use it? Probably not. But I think it's good to showcase this stuff because it may um, help us find other combo routes, other potential um, sequences we haven't found yet. But it's, it's interesting. Interesting. I do wish... This was more easy to land. Because I'd be adding that straight away if that was the case. So that's really nice, but it's not it's not consistent. So um Yeah, it's one of those. But yeah, it's just a quick video. I just want to show that off for you guys today. Um yeah, if you found anything yourself, feel free to share it in the comment section. Um sharing is caring, as I say. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. If you enjoy the content and want to see more, hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel. I also stream on Twitch it's every Wednesday and Saturday evening. You can find me on Twitch as Rush underscore G. So thanks for watching and hopefully catch you soon. Take care.